I know you're all here for different reasons. And, you know, we really hope that all of those can be touched on. Obviously, you've kind of been following my emails for the last couple of weeks. The, you know, one of the main things we're doing is trying to launch this new series of, of uh, books, of updated books and, and reprints um, that I've been working on. I guess I just really want to say at the outset how how much I mean it's it's a it's a truism and you know people at the Academy Awards always say you know I want to thank so and so and so and so and so and so it's a group effort but you know this I'm just so kind of in awe of how many people have uh, stepped up and been part of this with. Just lots of different aspects of it. I mean, the number of people here have helped with proofreading and editing, and I'll kind of touch on some of that at other times. But, you know, Tom and Ruthie and Sue and Dorothy and um, Joseph, whoops, Dave, Jess, who else is, where do I see, oh, Dan, my goodness, yeah, Dan. If they have a beard, they probably helped us. <laughs> anyway, I, I uh, thank you all and um, just many kudos. It, it really has been, it's just been fun to be getting notes and critiques and typos and goofs and reviews from all over it. <coughs> David Jack in Scotland is helping and other people around the country that weren't able to be here so just really I'm appreciative for that this picture up here in the kitchen which some of you can't taken almost two years ago kind of a family reunion a surprise family reunion my 70th birthday when Judy organized all three of our sons to come. It was just a week or two after that that, in a way, this all began with a phone, a phone call and you know, my agent at the time, and then a phone call after that. My agent was discontinuing his work on my stuff, and I was depressed for a while, and what what's the future, and then Anyway, a, kind of a long story, but I got a call from a, uh, a man running a publishing company in New York that I'd never met, and in out of that conversation began this, this series of new books. Um, he's going to be putting those the books into ebook, and so then I began the process of re-editing and updating the books I'd done before, and to put them into book form. Anyway, two years later, here we are. And um, Joseph is the, the man who bought our inventory of the Sunrise books. And he was out visiting, and we, this was when, the spring, or I can't remember when, and we told him about this, this project, and he very naively said as we were driving along, what can I do to help? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to design a website? Sure. Would you like to be in charge of the retreat? Sure, I can do that. Would you like to design another website for the retreat? And everything, and this guy works for a living too, by the way. Uh -huh. He has a day job. Uh -huh. And everything I threw at him, he, uh, he said, sure. Um, oh, four or five days ago, we discovered a real major glitch in one of the covers. Yeah. And I, I, it was just one of those crisis moments. I wrote to Joseph, I need something Photoshopped real, right away. Because I didn't know how to Photoshop. Sure, send it on. And... Two hours later, the new covers were practically done. I mean, and the message I got, 
was, here it is, sent from my iPhone. <laughs> I mean, he probably, he may have done the Photoshop on his iPhone for all I know. <laughs> Um, it's the last time you'll ever say it. <laughs> what can I sure. help? <laughs> um, Laura said a similar version of that, and I said, well, okay, can you come to Cullen and then devote the next two years of your life to this project? Sure. And so, um, and all the other, all you other people that helped proofread and edit, I've said this before, but it's just really kind of remarkable. Every single person found stuff that Judy and I had missed, that everybody else had missed. There wasn't a single proofreader that didn't find something that nobody else had seen. It was great. Dan back there read the whole writer's life, which started out at two or three hundred pages. It's now over six hundred. He read the whole thing and then said, well, maybe, could I read some of the whole books? So he read one. And it's, it comes back to me in a week with ten pages of corrections that Judy yeah. and I had missed. Send me another one. Send me another one. Send me another one. Send me another one. And it was some, we were in Cullen at the time, and uh, finally, in, I think it was about mid-July, he said, I'm brain dead! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> then a week later, he said, send me another one! <laughs> and he read two more after that. So, many thanks, Dan, and all of you. It's just... Um, and you're all going to have to keep reading because I know we all just, we, that writer's life that's over there, it's got a typo that I just found from Laura two days ago. <laughs> it's been corrected, but it's, it's often that. <laughs> a prize to whoever finds that. <laughs> um, in a way, the, um, oh, I, I wanted to make mention of this before. I wanted to make mention of this little display here. This is, we do have some other um, authors here. I think our two sons, you've met Robert and Gregory. I think between them they've written, what, five or six published books and about 15 unpublished, just like their dad. More unpublished than published. These are some of Gregory's here. Um, this is a book Joseph published. Do you want to say anything about that, or uh, briefly, or um, although I don't have them for sale, there's a few of Gregory's here for sale. Um, this is Robbins, which there's a uh, chapter on it um, about George MacDonald. I think Robin will maybe be talking a little bit about that tomorrow. And Jess back here, this is his, but a uh, daily one-page devotional thought from George MacDonald's sermons. Um, and I don't have cop or, uh, quantities of all these, but I wanted you to know about them. And you, there are people here who can fix you up with them. Jess is also working with the man named David Jack in Scotland. And these are two of their joint efforts. They're original, they're the original full-length um, McDonald novels as opposed to mine, but David, in, who's in Scotland, is doing a side-by-side -side translation of the Scots dialect. So it's original in the narrative section, and then when it comes to dialogue, where the Scots dialect, it's a side-by-side. -side. And... Um, Jess has been instrumental in that, and Jess's website is kind of promoting both these projects and many other things. It's called the Works of George MacDonald, and Jess has been really supportive of all of our work, too. And it's, I don't know, it's just really nice to work together with people who are doing other, other MacDonald things. They're, and these, to you, 
for planting the bug. Oh. Research partner, not assistant. <laughs> and so it would be a little redundant to give her a copy because she's been part of it all the way from the book she's... 70 books since January. Oh. Wow. wow. 70 copies, a lot of them two and three and four times. Wow. And I think she's followed by Laura, you counted, maybe eight or ten, <laughs> Dan, six or eight, and the rest of you. Sue read Malcolm and Marquis, and was there anything else? Sue read them on there. Sue was sending me texts on her phone from the Queen Mary, too. I mean, this is how, <laughs> this is how dedicated these people were. Dorothy was on vacation. People were all over the place. Dan was the only one that stayed at home and did all his reading. <laughs> Mike, you've had several William Carey Davies. I have, yes. And who would possibly know anything about that but you? <laughs> you. And, and then for the technical stuff, this is, this is my man. <laughs> we were at Dave and Laura's house uh, maybe a month ago, and we were sitting in Dave's C.S. Lewis McDonald room, and we were just talking, and Dave said something. She didn't know what she was getting into either, was she? <laughs> but then neither did I. And we were just a couple of kids, and we have been so blessed. And the Lord has given us the desires of our heart. And um, we're just the most fortunate of men and women. It's a very very thankful. Um, so, I believe that um, I was just supposed to welcome you all and welcome. Glad you're here. Um, so, I'm going to turn it over to Joseph and we're just going to have some sharing from these two and Laura and Judy about different perspectives of this work that we've been engaged in, but I really, honestly, and I really mean this, you all are part of it, and I want you to feel part of it, and what we do tomorrow is, I mean, I, I believe that this is an important thing, it's a historic thing, and, and I'm not doing it alone, we're all doing it together, and I want you to feel, feel part of that, and so... I'll turn it over to my left-hand man here, <laughs> co-publisher of the Cullen Collection, Joseph. Should I stand? I suppose. You, oh, this is really a great volume <laughs> to sit out of. I've used it for several retreats, <laughs> right. whatever you're comfortable with. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, yeah, my name is Joseph, and I think I've met most of you, I don't know, I guess. Um, but I'm going to take just a few minutes and share a little bit of my perspective on, on, on this, whole, <coughs> this whole thing and um, the whole legacy that, that I think uh, Mike is, is leaving and, um, or is building. And, and then the other guys will have, uh, guys and girls will have another 10 minutes and then we'll have some time for questions to anybody, including Mike. 